everybody and welcome back to Eat What You Sew with Co. So in today's episode, we're going to do another appetizer recipe. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I would recommend watching the vegan doubled, vegan doubled eggs recipe. I'll post a link to that above. That one turned out super good. So I really wanted to do another vegan appetizer recipe to see if I could get two home runs. I don't like the term home run. I'm a football fan. So I really wanted to do another vegan appetizer recipe to see if I can get two touchdowns on the on the appetizer recipe. So in today's episode, we're going to do vegan air fried pickles. So if you also have watched some of my other episodes, you know I'm obsessed with my air fryer. So this one will be super fun. This will be the second episode I did today. I did a juicing one this morning and that was excellent. So I hope that this cooking recipe is good as well. So anyway, super excited to have you with me. If you're enjoying this, you guys, please subscribe to me. Hit the big red subscribe below. Also, please hit the bell so you can get notified every single time I post a new episode. Alrighty, let's get this thing started. Okay, you guys, so here are the ingredients in today's episode. There's not that many ingredients. Um, breadcrumbs, cornmeal, garlic powder, lemon juice, vegan milk, salt cayenne pepper and flour and that's it that's the only ingredients in this recipe so this should be pretty easy this recipe comes from the urbanlife.com so i will go ahead and post a link to that in the description and also below so anyways all right let's get cooking or should i say let's get frying oh my gosh i'm so dumb i just realized when i was showing you the ingredients i forgot the pickles so anyways, um, add pickles to the list of ingredients because obviously, since we're doing fried pickles, we're going to need some pickles. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a couple different types of pickles because I want to try different pickle types with this recipe. So it says that you want 16 ounces of pickles. So these jars are 24 ounces. So, um... I guess that's a little more than half of the jar. So I'm just gonna do like a variety of different pickles. I love pickles. I freaking love pickles. Except for pickle juice smoothies. Those are, those are terrible. I can attest to that. And if you guys wanna see that debacle, I'll post a link above. But, Pickles by themselves, I'll even drink pickle juice out of the jar by itself. I think it's freaking good. Dave does that all the time. Like, who doesn't love pickles? I even started getting weird. Suddenly, I started liking bread and butter pickles, which I remember my dad used to like bread and butter pickles, and I used to think that was disgusting. But now, I'm even liking bread and butter pickles. I don't know what happened to my palate, but all of a sudden, this palate likes bread and butter pickles. I like all pickles. I like sweet pickles, dill pickles, and bread and butter pickles. What other pickle is there? Is there any other type of pickle? If there's another pickle that I'm missing, let me know in a link below because I need to try that pickle and see if I like that one. Although I don't know how to pickle stuff. I've never pickled... Oh, you know what? I think I did pickle some... I use pickling spices, but how do you pickle stuff? Like, I was just talking to my dad about this. I want to learn how to eat beets because beets are disgusting, but they're super good for you. But I, I've had pickled beets in a salad before that I've ordered. How do you pickle stuff? I'm going to have to do an episode on pickling. So it says you want to get your, your pickles and lay them out on a paper towel and pat dry. So you want them to be dry, I guess. So we're going to take these ones. And then we're gonna throw some of the bread and butter ones in there. Bread and butter. 16 ounces seems like a lot of pickles. Wish I had sweet pickles, I would use that too. I have sweet relish, I don't think relish would work with this. Oh my God, come on dude. I don't think I want to cook the pickle with a tail, so this one's going in the trash. I've had fried pickles before. I can handle like two or three, and then I'm like over it. So you want to dab your pickles dry, I suppose. You want to dry them off. 
I'm gonna smell like pickles all night now. Okay, so now it says, in a, get a small bowl and you're gonna whisk together the vegan milk and the lemon juice to create a vegan buttermilk. Okay. And I'm using soy milk. Um, you guys can use whatever milk you want, but this I already have this open, so I figured I might as well use this. So you're just gonna whisk this together, whisk this together. Okay, and after you whisk this together, it says to let it sit for five or 10 minutes. So I don't think you have to whisk that much. I mean, there's only lemon juice and milk in here. I mean, what do you need to keep whisking it for? It says to create a dredging station, like, I don't know what a freaking dredging station is, but it kind of explains it. It says you're gonna have three bowls, you're gonna dip, it's like a dipping, a dipping assembly line, I guess. Pretty fancy, we're gonna do a whole station. Remember the I Love Lucy episode with Ethel and her and the chocolate on the assembly line of chocolate? That was pretty funny, I used to love that show. And no, I am not that old to have watched Lucy, but I still watched it all the time. I used to watch Nick at Night all the time and I was obsessed with Lucy, I loved that show. Okay, so you're gonna have one bowl with the flour, and then the other one with the vegan milk, and then we're gonna have one with the panko breadcrumbs. How do you open up a bag of flour? Oh, there we go. It's supposed to get everywhere? It's kinda annoying. That's another thing I never use is freaking flour. Is that the first bowl? Okay. Come out. There we go. Okay, and then your other bowl is going to be the breadcrumbs, which panko breadcrumbs are vegan, so definitely get the panko ones. I don't know if there's different types of breadcrumbs. I assume there is. Stone grown, stone grown. <laughs> I got stone ground whole grain cornmeal. I don't know if that matters, but I don't know what kind of, if there's multiple cornmeal types, but anyways, that's what I got. It's gluten free too. I don't know what I use this stone. I actually had this in the pantry. I have no idea what I made with this. Okay. I mean, come on. How impressed are you by that execution of that purpose, that perfect one half cup of stone corn ground meal, of stone ground cornmeal. Perfect. So it says you're going to also add one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one half teaspoon of garlic powder. paprika would be good in this. I try to add smoked paprika to everything. I'm not going to, but I am tempted. You want to whisk together the pepper, garlic, cornmeal thing. So this part gets confusing. It says working in batches, dip each pickle first into the flour, then into the buttermilk. I get that. Like that's, why does it say working in batches though? That's freaking, that's weird. So we're going to create an assembly line here with the pickles and then we have our air fryer. Now this is another weird part. It says transfer to a crisp lid fryer basket. What in the hell is a crisp lid fryer basket? I don't have a crisp lid fi fryer basket, but I do have this thing that came with my air fryer. So I'm just going to try to put them on this rack and maybe that works. I don't know. I don't know what it's asking me to do. So I'm going to put them on the rack and hope for the best. There's a lot of pickles for how small my air fryer is. Well, I can tell you right now, this is gonna take forever. It says to do one individual pickle at a time, not doing one individual pickle at a time. This is, oh my God, I wish I wouldn't have had so many pickles. Uh, 
I'm going to have to put some on top of each other in the air fryer. You know what, let me just throw a bunch of pickles in the flour. See if this goes faster. Let's dip in the flour first. So in there. Okay, you guys need to get together. I don't want this all over the place. I like how you look at cooking shows and they don't have globs of shit on their fingers when they're dipping stuff for an air fryer. Martha Stewart, when she makes deep fried stuff, I'm sure she doesn't have globs of shit all over her fingers. I'm gonna take the glob and rub it onto a pickle so it's not, okay, that just destroyed the pickle. That's not the right move. Should have stopped with the pickles. I knew there was too many pickles. Is this what they mean by batches? Like put them all in the one bowl at once? Okay, this is becoming a goopy mess and I'm like totally over it at this point. So oh. that's probably what they mean by matches. I figured it out at the very end. Of course, a quick way to get them all done at once. Just put them in there, roll them around. So anyway, what I've learned is grab the pickles, swish them around in the stuff. It's much easier. You throw them in here. Oh my gosh. That's what they mean by batches. My fingers are so packed with breading, I don't know if I'm grabbing a pickle or if I'm grabbing my own finger. I think we're done with the rest with the breading, so I think I'm gonna wash these breading growths off of my hand. So here are our, our pickles that you're gonna slide them in the air fryer cook them at 400 degrees for five minutes. Okay, you guys, so while those are frying up, let's look for some fun facts about pickles. First fun fact is a super fun one. Cleopatra ate pickles because she believed they were one of the things that helped her stay beautiful. Hmm, maybe I need to eat more pickles. Second fun fact about pickles. 100,000 to 125,000 of acres are devoted to growing pickling cucumbers in the United States. Third fun fact about pickles. Pickles have been around since ancient times. Although there is some disagreement as to exactly when pickles entered the scene, some people believe that the first pickle was created in Mesopotamia. Tamia, Meso, Mesopotina. Oh my God, I cannot say this word. I know the word too, I just can't say it. Here's the word I'm trying to pronounce. Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia, you guys, is what I'm trying to say. Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. See, I still can't say it. Anyways, in 2400 BC, Others believe it was as early as 2030 BC. Those are your three fun facts already. Let's get back to the kitchen. Well, I can tell you it smells like pickles, so I'm gonna attempt to flip these as much as I can and then cook them for another five minutes. Mine are all gooey. Uh, yeah, those are nowhere near done. I'm not very good at this, so probably one layer would have been better. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna check them now. It's been like five, oh man, some of them are burning. So this is what they look like. I think they're done now. 
I'm let them cool off for a second. I'm gonna put them on a plate and then we'll try them. All right, so let me put a couple on a plate and see how they taste. Well, I can tell you mine don't look as pretty as the picture, but that's not really a big shock. So out of fairness, I'll try one of the long ones. And then I'll try one of these ones. I really wish I had a cold beer and some vegan ranch. So here's the deal. They're okay, but my breading is not even at all. So it's all globby and stuff, which I think that's my fault. Flavor wise, they're pretty good. I can feel my heartburn already starting to occur just from taking a couple bites. The bread and butter pickles, they're my favorite out of the bunch. And the long dill pickles, those ones are not very good. You taste too much pickle, not enough breading. So anyways, so me and Dave are feuding right now. I'm pretty sure we're sick of being stuck in the house together, but if, if he is willing to participate, we'll have him try it and see what he thinks. I don't think he's gonna like these at all, especially not the bread and butter. Okay, so Dave is home, and even though we're feuding, I'm gonna see, what is going on with my lash? Look at that. These quarantine, oh my God. <laughs> we're gonna see if Dave will give us a review. Okay, I know we're feuding, but I have a recipe for you to try. I'm actually gonna put this on the plate for Dave because I found this in the fridge, so it's actually better with Caesar. What am I trying? Okay, so these are vegan air fried pickles. And I put some vegan Caesar dressing because actually I tried it with myself with vegan A's. Vegan A's I think is better than vegan season. Vegan season. Vegan season. <laughs> Caesar vegan, vegan Caesar dressing. So anyways, these are fried pickles. Um, yeah. I don't like fried pickles, period. Well, that's a shame. No, that's a shame. That's a shame. Definitely, that's a shame, YouTube world. <laughs> definitely would recommend dipping it. Um, I don't like the sticks as much as the other ones. Do you know how full I am? This is like... You tell the world that I don't like you right now? I told that we were feuding, yes. All right. So this is our first conversation in how many days? I don't know. I don't keep track of that. Oh, I'm sure you keep track because mm -hmm. you love the silent game. You mm -hmm. absolutely keep track. That might be the bread and butter pickle. Some of those are bread and butter. Is it the bread and butter? Wait, it might be dill because there's some dills. Okay, okay. This one for sure is dill. This one, the long one's dill. I promise you the long ones are dill. You I did it on purpose. I, no, I swear to God, I <laughs> thought maybe you probably wouldn't get a bread and butter. What are the chances? Why would you Bread separate? and butter are better, actually. Why would you separate them? The bread and butter ones are better than the dill ones. You're vindictive. No, I'm Low not. Tea, I'm not. Undercover. Oh, yeah, that's that's how I get you. Knowing how much I despise. Bread and butter pickle. Knowing how much I despise bread and butter pickles. Oh, by the way, was it a bread and butter pickle? <laughs> well, I think it was your your head. I shouldn't have said anything. I should have let you chew on it. Now I'm wondering, that looks more like a cat turd than a bread and pickle to me. <laughs> That's a deal, but I don't like the, the sticks. I like, what are you doing? I'm done. I'm, I'm, you I'm, have to try that. That's a dill pickle. I tried it. Please try it. You have not tried the dill one. I tried it. No. I'm you, rating it. No, dude, you have not. Seriously, try the dill one, please. I'm not you trying. Only, why you've only tried the bread and butter one? I'm Please good. just try a bite of that. Good. Can't get a real rating. Dude, it's not gonna go from a two to a ten in one bite of a different pickle. Can you please just try the dill one? Dip it in the Caesar. Okay. You like pickles. You love pickles. You love pickles. Two and a half. Two and a half. I agree. Is that bad? It's not that good. Especially since I just ate literally a jar of pickles at the shop. Well, that's why. Literally a jar of pickles. Well, whatever. You did that on purpose. I did not do anything on purpose. I didn't want you to get in your own head for you to be like, oh, I don't like it now because I know it's bread, but I shouldn't have said anything. I should have let you spit it out. I spit it out before you said anything. No, you didn't. You spit it out as soon as I said there's some bread and butter. Then you went and you had to go yeah. spit it. That might be the bread and butter pickle. Some of those are bread and butter. Is it the 
Huh? All right, you guys. So we have our final ratings in, and Dave hated this one. I really didn't think he would like this one. He rated it a two and a half, and I'm going to rate this one a six. I think it's okay. Like I said, I screwed up on the breading. It's very uneven, so I think if I would have maybe maybe got the breading right, it would have been a little bit. It's not horrible. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching and please remember you guys to subscribe to me hit the circle of my face wherever I'm popping up on the screen Also, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Appreciate your support and I look forward to next time. Thanks again for watching